Hey YouTube, Bob here. If you're an amiibo hunter in the US, you know that Greninja is a retail exclusive to Toys R Us stores. You also know that the online pre-orders for Greninja, just like with pretty much all other amiibos, sold out in mere minutes. As for the in-store pre-orders, Toys R Us announced that they would be taking those on Monday, April 27th. Since I'm a teacher, and Monday would be a school day, I knew I would have to once again enlist the help of my friend Pat to try and secure my pre-order. I'd have to come up with a plan. So I did. I drew up and sent this flowchart to Pat. The first phase shown on the left depicts a successful attempt to pre-order Greninja at Toys R Us, followed by an attempt to buy the Target Store exclusive Jigglypuff. The second phase on the right shows the plan in the event that Pat would not be able to get a pre-order for Greninja. Luckily, however, Pat was able to get the pre-order for Greninja, and in this video, I'll take you through the text messages he sent me throughout the morning. So on this screenshot taken from my phone, you see the first batch of text messages from Pat. And he starts off with, it's not 8 a.m. yet and I'm not first in line. And uh, Pat gets really competitive with this, and I, I really appreciate that. I'm sure he was frustrated not to be first in line two hours before the store was supposed to open. Because keep in mind, it was, uh, it was supposed to open at 10. He says, the first guy in line got here at 5.30 a.m., and that probably would have been me. I usually get to, get to the stores insanely early when I'm able to do it. But he does say he's third in line, and uh, according to the newest arrival, which I'm assuming is the person who had most recently gotten there at that point, uh, at another local Toys R Us, they had a line of more than 35 people. So yeah, third in line is pretty good. Go Pat. He says, now it's just geek talk. And keep in mind, Pat's not a Nintendo fan. He knows what Amiibo are only because I've told him what they are. Probably doesn't know what a Greninja is. I hardly know what Greninja is outside of Pokemon because I'm not a big Pokemon fan. But uh, he says, it's just geek talk. And the topic of conversation is the debacle at GameStop, which he was well aware of because, you know, he was kind of following what I was doing when I was uh, at the GameStop. He was actually my backup plan. Uh, he was going to help me out. Uh, as was another friend, but luckily I was able to finish my tests that day and get to the GameStop in time. And if you saw my video on that, I was one of the I was the only person at that GameStop who was able to get a Wave 4 pre-order through. So I was very lucky in those regards. But that's what he was talking about there. And he says, uh, Toys R Us is already not following the rules that you sent me. According to those rules, a sign should be printed and posted, but nothing has been done yet. What he's referring to is this. Uh, this is a, uh, a list of protocols sent to uh, Toys R Us employees. It was posted on the uh, website AmiiboInquirer.com. And basically what Pat's talking about here is the two hours prior to opening, print the Amiibo pre-sale characters, line starts here sign, available here. And I guess there was a link there. Uh, place the sign in your poll sign holder outside of the store two hours prior to store opening. So, whoops, I guess the employees at that Toys R Us weren't following protocol. But back to the messages here. It says, the first woman just showed up. She was sent from another Toys R Us that already had more people in line than they had Aminos or <laughs> Amiibos to sell. Which, yeah, that happens a lot. It says, now the line is up to eight people, and it's rumored that will only be ten of each Amiibo to sell. Which, yeah, according to uh, the information posted on the Amiibo Inquirer site, each store is supposed to get ten to twenty. And then Pat goes on to say, a van filled with ten men just pulled up, counted people in line, and just drove away. One of the guys in line read that scalping groups go to stores and try to jump the lines if people are waiting in their cars. So I guess if people are waiting in their cars, the people on these scalper groups will just go and steal their what would have been their place in line. And Pat goes on, if people are in their cars, all ten guys jump out and begin the line, leaving people who waited in their cars out of luck. So yeah, not cool. Am I supposed to get Pac-Man Amiibo too? He's not Nintendo, is he? Yeah, nope. Pac-Man's not Nintendo, and I actually already got him as part of my uh, Wave 4 pre-order bundle at GameStop. But uh, if we read on here, you're going to see Pat actually got a Pac-Man, too. So now the amateurs are, amateurs are starting to show up. I'm embarrassed for them. And what he means by that, Pat loves doing this. Pat is really competitive. He knows you got to get there early, just like he did, and now all these other people are starting to show up. So they're the amateurs. He says the uh, line has finally hit 20. And now the GameStop uh, debacle topic had come up again. And uh, these next two posts here are a few videos. I'll go ahead and show you the videos. They aren't the best quality, and it's hard to understand, but I'll post them anyway. Okay, let's take a picture. Hi. Stunt fast.
announcement right and a Pac-Man of one of each per customer. Um, and I'll start with the first one who came in line. <laughs> All right. And then the final post in this string of messages uh, are the two receipts uh, for the Pac-Man pre-order and, of course, the Greninja pre-order that he was actually able to get. And then on kind of a separate string of messages, uh, this final one came up here. He says, well, it's 849, so I think this was a little bit before. He kind of jumped strings of messages that he was sending to me. It's 849, and the 10th person just got into line. The scuttlebutt uh, is that uh, that is at this store got ten of each. I'll let you know uh, when the transaction has been completed. So yeah, I guess uh, they weren't putting a cap on how many people could buy, unfortunately. But there you see uh, another picture of the receipts uh, showing that uh, he got both Pac-Man and Greninja. So there it is. Big shout out to my friend Pat. Now hopefully he'll have just as good a luck getting Jigglypuff at Target on May 29th. Thanks, Pat. You rock.